Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is my latest project that I've been doing. It's a pantry transmitter for shortwave um, and oddly enough I've decided to do this on Vero. Now I've never had a great deal of success, success with Vero on uh, RF projects at all. I found, them, uh, found it to be quite a problem. Um, but I recently got a new LCR meter and I was able to check the, the leakage, well, capacitance between tracks and it only appeared to be between 2 and 5, five picofarads. Uh, so I thought, well, why do these boards not really work? So anyway, I had another go at making this using the MC141969 uh, uh, IC and again 96p sorry i always get this mixed up 1496p modulator chip um i saw the circuit online actually and basically it was the modulator circuit with only uh, a positive and earth supply not having a split supply between positive and negative with a, uh, a common a common earth uh, so i decided to go down this road and I made up a crystal oscillator using a 15.060 megahertz crystal. Now, uh, the crystal oscillator ran first time, so I thought, oh, well, that's good, good progress on the Vero. So I was quite happy with that. So I built up this, and I was quite surprised how well it worked. The audio quality is very, very good indeed, um, and the, the waveforms are what you'd expect. Now, the only thing is, of course, it's extremely low power and really... It only goes a few feet, uh, not really ideal for a pantry transmitter unless you decide to uh, feed the sets direct. But what I did find was that any loading on the on the chip really, um, it was it, it began to distort and it wasn't so good. Um, so I thought, well, this does need a buffer stage of some kind. So uh, I then actually diverged a bit and made up this say. Uh, this toroid here just just bound with a uh, ordinary single core wire um, as between the outputs the plus and the minus output and used that now that did actually make an improvement um, it didn't didn't have the problems when you loaded it up like it did previously so th that was a plus plus it actually I got a bit more range out of it um, but it still really wasn't hugely good uh, I tried a couple of transistor ones, um, they seemed to add distortion, the waveform didn't look particularly pretty, uh, so I thought, no, no, I'm going to go back to using a rod pentode here, uh, high impedance valve, uh, virtually no loading on the, on the chip and the circuitry, so I thought, yeah, we'll go for this. Now, the... The filaments for the valve are fed through this 470 ohm up here behind the scope probe and it runs down to here. Uh, we've, de we've put a decouple the uh, supply uh, and also we've put two diodes in there, uh, 21N4004 in series just to, just to be for protection for the filament of the valve and the whole set runs off three um, lithium ion batteries so the, the, the HT supply is round about it's just a bit below 12 volts which is fine for the the, the chip and uh, of course the oscillator and running the filament for the valve so it's uh, it, it's quite a simple circuit there's nothing uh, difficult about it the uh, the output stage uses the IJ18B valve and the, f the the screen is fed from a 33k from the HT and on the other end we have a, a 100k resistor there uh, which gives gives the filament sorry the, the screen roughly about three quarters um, of what the HT supply is this gives the maximum output and uh, it seems to work fine the H, the, the sorry, the anode is tuned with this coil and a slug in it to 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 pick it up. Uh, it's not a Pi tank network, of course. It's just to just to tune it, so it, it works fine. It tunes it tunes it the uh, tunes it up nicely. So I'll put it on now. There's a lot of noise in here at the moment. I have no idea where from. This is running at the moment. There's no HT on it. Uh, as you can see, the meter is saying 0 0.035 volts. Uh, I'll put the radio on. It'll be crackly. Uh, I don't know where this has come from. I've disconnected everything in here uh, and it's not made any difference. So I'll put it on. Now, oh, I've turned it off. Sorry, I've turned the volume down. Sorry. You can hear this noise in the background. 
it can still pick up. This is actually radiation from this side. There's no ampli output stage on it, moment. Uh, so that really distorts quite easily. Anyway, uh, I'm feeding the HT from the lab pack, right? And it's adjustable via the, the Variac. Now, the only thing is it does tend to make it hum a little bit. Uh, so uh, these are, it's, it's just modulation hum, but this, this is something that will be sorted out at another point. So I'll put the, I'll put the, there you can hear the hum straight away. And it's actually increased the signal level already with, with just one, one volt of HT. If I move the radio about, I sometimes damp out the hum a bit. There we go. We'll try it at that. It's maybe not the ideal place. But anyway, we'll, we'll rise up the HT a little bit. In fact, I'll turn the volume down so you can hear me speaking. There we go. Now, we'll give it a, we'll try with 10 volts first, that's too much, that's 20. <laughs> I, you could probably hear the, the, the signal level got clearer, uh, we've got the scope on at the moment, there's nothing showing, we'll bring it up to 20 volts, 20 volts, now there's already something there on the scope, there we go, there's the, the waveform there, but that is only uh, about a uh, 100 millivolts because we're using a times 10 probe there so there's a hundred millivolts of RF coming off that at the moment okay so we'll up that to we'll go to 30 volts 30 volts and the waveform has risen uh, that's about Let's see, that's about uh, half a volt coming off it at the moment, and that's with, with 30 volts. So, we'll, uh, we'll bring that up to 50. That's 50. Okay. And we have here, let's see, probably about, let me just... It's probably about a volt, just over a volt at that. It's about 1.3 volts. We'll take it to 75. That's 77. 76. That's increased it again, and we have. That's a couple of volts there now. Alright. Now I've tried it up to 100, the valve doesn't seem to object to it, this meter's about to go off, it's one of these ones that will get 100 volts, we'll get out of there before the meter goes off, it's just bleak, so there you go, 100 volts. Uh, it doesn't make it much bigger going between 75 and 100, um, but it's, it is clearer. So we get around about, I would say we get around about 2.5 volts peak to peak here. Uh, off this so it does does work quite nicely uh, it range is only it's very low because there's only this very short piece of wire here for an, an aerial so the range isn't good right, this is our end of the shed but it's perfectly adequate for a pantry transmitter and if I had a, a, a longer aerial it would work quite fine. Um, it's buzzy, but I'd say the, the buzz, buzziness is just the uh, modulation hum. Uh, if I adjust the, the core, as you can see, the signal tails off. In fact, that's actually a bit more. Yeah, it wasn't tuned up properly. I probably tuned it up prior to putting the, the, the small length of aerial on it. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're doing about 100% modulation. I don't want to slow the scope down too much because you'll start getting the, the flicker. Uh, but we're around about 100% mod uh, modulation there. Um, it's hard to tell the quality of the audio, but quality is actually very good.
and if I put it through the the Dynatron tuner and the uh, uh, 3 3 amp, uh, it's oh, it's excellent. I, I'll put it on, but I don't know how it will sound today. It's probably not going to be that wonderful simply because uh, I use this uh, through a loop and I haven't got the loop connected up or anything like that. But we'll see what it does do. Very hasty, isn't it? When you're just... There we go. I'll give you a rough idea of how it could sound. Once you get a good signal intact, you won't have all the hissing and noise, obviously. Uh, but as I say, it's quite simple. Uh, the rod pentod definitely adds a bit of output to it uh, and makes it more uh, less distorted, actually. And yeah, it's a uh, it's it's a good project and it's a simple one. I hope that I can put up a, a diagram shortly and. I'll put the post onto the, the Goldborn Radio Forum uh, at some time in the next day or so. So you should be able to follow that there. Um, and as I say, it can be done in Vero board, uh, so long as you're careful with it. Uh, in fact, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just turn it off. Uh, I shall turn the high, high voltage off. And just quickly, I'm not particularly wonderful at uh, uh, doing things like this these days. The, the eyesight's not as good as it used to be uh, and causing me a bit of trouble here and there. So, uh, I'm not saying my solder on the that is beautiful because it's not. I'll be the first to admit it. So, uh, anyway, I'll turn the board over and let you see. Now, as I say, it's it's not, not beautiful. I've got a bit of tidying up to do here and there. Uh, there's a few tracks that I'd like to cut back further than I have, uh, so there's less capacitance effect um, and so on. Uh, and just make sure all everything seems to be soldered okay. But as I say, it's not it's not beautiful. Um, first to admit that. But anyway, that's that's the that's it done. That's it working, uh, and I'm quite happy with it. Um, I've sealed the, the cables with uh, uh, hot melt to make sure that they don't fracture. Uh, and this is glued in as well. Uh, and as I say, although it's it's very simple, it's very straightforward, it does work. The downside of it would be that we need, of course, we need a high voltage supply for the valve. Uh, you could do that with PP3 batteries. Um, 75 volts is adequate, so you could do it with that. The current drain is minuscule, it's very, very low. So you would expect the, the, the PP3s to last for a long time. Under normal circumstances, I would advocate you don't need to use an on-off switch for the, the, the high voltage. But as there's a potential to divider here to feed the, uh, the G2 of the valve, uh, it would be advisable that you switch it off when you weren't using it or disconnected the batteries. Uh, as yet, this is in the pro like prototyping stage, so this is only... I just left the battery when I have to turn it off. Uh, so as I say, it's just in the prototyping stage at this time. Uh, although whether or not I'll actually move this onto printed board is another story. Uh, I've never made a printed board in my life. I've always used other methods. Uh, but uh, I do know somebody that may actually do this for me. Uh, and I might go down that road uh, to make a nice tidier version once he's done the artwork, etc. Uh, in fact, I might even ask him to make more than one board if anybody else is interested to do this. Um, but it will work in basically any frequency. The, uh, as I say, this crystal is a 15.060 uh, megahertz uh, crystal. Uh, you could use this for medium wave. You could do it for uh, any of the other uh, short wave bands or it's somewhere in the spectrum just to feed some radios. No doubt it even worked in long wave. So uh, it's probably uh, a very versatile circuit. But I can certainly say that this the modulation from the chip is, is nice. Uh, and well well worth using this chip rather than other methods uh, and the component count isn't huge I have to say uh, but as I say I'm happy with it and I'm, I was just feeding the, the signal from this mp3 player this little Chinese thing so it's uh, um, you know it's a, it's a good it's a good output from it the volume isn't hugely loud oops 
Ah, sorry about that. Oh no, I'll switch it back off again. Press the button too many times and it goes to that. So uh, what you do is you press that and hold it and it goes to volume. So the volume's ha roughly halfway up. Uh, it modul over modulates when it gets to about 15, 16. Um, uh, but it doesn't need a huge amount of drive. Uh, I did one circuit I did see uh, they, uh, they advocated fitting a, uh, a buffer transistor before, but so far I don't seem to need it with this. Um, depends what your line output can be a wee bit low, but headphone output seems to be uh, a bit better for this. Um, so anyway, it's it's that's my latest project, and thanks you guys for looking. And as I say, I'll update the Goldborn forum in the next day or two. Um, this is the eighth of December, so uh, I shall um, do it and uh, hopefully by the weekend. Okay. Right guys, thanks everyone for looking. Take care, enjoy yourselves.